Hey guys, in my previous video, I showed you how to install Android Pi Beta ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus devices. In this video, I will show you how to root S8 and S8 Plus phones running on Android Pi. This method will work for both official updates and beta updates. Let's begin. Before you start, back up all your data in internal storage because this process is going to factory reset your phone. Now go to settings, about phone, software info, tap on build number 7 times to see developer options. In developer options, make sure USB debugging and OEM unlock are enabled. Now you need to download Samsung USB driver Odin Majisk zip file RMM state bypass zip file No verity zip file and TWRP recovery links to all these files are in the description below Copy Majisk, no verity, and RMM state bypass zip files into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to erase internal storage. Now turn off your phone. Press and hold volume down. Bixby and power buttons all at the same time to go into download mode. Connect your phone to your PC with a USB cable. Unzip and launch Odin. You should see this blue indicator which means your phone is connected. If you don't see this, then you should install Samsung USB driver, unplug and reconnect your phone and you should good to go. Click on AP and select TWRP recovery file. Go to options and make sure auto reboot and F reset time are checked. Once you hit start. TWRP recovery will be flashed and your phone will reboot. As soon as the screen goes black, you need to press and hold volume up, big speed and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. If you miss this step, then you will have to repeat the whole process. Let's click on start. Going into TWRP recovery mode, swipe to allow modifications, click on wipe, format data, type yes to erase internal storage. Click on advanced wipe, select cache and Dalvik cache, then swipe to wipe. Then go to install and choose no verity zip file. 
then swipe to flash. This will decrypt your phone. Then flash RMM state bypass zip file. This is to keep OEM unlocked. At last, flash Majisk zip file and once it is done, click on reboot system. First boot will take some time, so please be patient. If you don't have a SD card, you can flash files from a USB drive. Video link is in the description below, please do check it out. Now the phone is booted, let's finish the setup process. And you should see my gist cap. If you do, then congratulations, you have successfully rotated your phone. If you can't see it, then you should download and manually install Majisk Manager 7.0 APK. Majisk Manager might ask you to update to newer version, but I would suggest you not to update because newest version is not compatible with Android Pie yet. And there is no specific reason you should update anyways. Let's test root access. As you can see, root is working just fine. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I'll be happy to answer them. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care.